Just as no one can be forced into belief, so no one can be forced into unbelief. One day, in retrospect, the years of struggle will strike you as the most beautiful. The great question that has never been answered, and which I have not yet been able to answer, despite my 30 years of research into the feminine soul, is what does a woman want? He that has eyes to see and ears to hear may convince himself that no mortal can keep a secret. If his lips are silent, he chatters with his fingertips, betrayal loses out of him at every pore. We are never so defenseless against suffering as when we love. I cannot think of any need in childhood as strong as the need for a father's protection. Being entirely honest with oneself is a good exercise. We are never so defenseless against suffering as when we love. Where does a thought go when it's forgotten? A woman should soften but not weaken a man. Future ages will produce further great advances in this realm of culture, probably inconceivable now, and will increase man's likeness to a god still more. It is impossible to escape the impression that people commonly use false standards of measurement. Words have a magical power. They can bring either the greatest happiness or deepest despair. It is that we are never so defenseless against suffering as when we love, never so helplessly unhappy as when we have lost our loved object or its love. Religion is an attempt to get control over the sensory world, in which we are placed, by means of the wish world, which we have developed inside us as a result of biological and psychological necessities. When making a decision of minor importance, I have always found it advantageous to consider all the pros and cons. Life as we find it, is too hard for us, it brings us too many pains, disappointments and impossible tasks. In the depths of my heart, I can't help being convinced that my dear fellow men, with a few exceptions, are worthless. Neurotics complain of their illness, but they make the most of it. And when it comes to taking it away from them they will defend it like a lioness or young. Words are capable of arousing the strongest emotions and prompting all men's actions. The voice of the intellect is a soft one, but it does not rest until it has gained a hearing. The ego refuses to be distressed by the provocations of reality, to let itself be compelled to suffer. Subscribe my channel, if you like my work. And don't forget to press the bell icon.